In Dragon's Dogma, there are few creatures or characters so powerful, revered, or even beloved as the great dragon known as Grigori. From his first moment on the screen to his last, he is a powerful, wise, and almost fatherly driving force for our arisen. Yet we learn very little about him in any direct manner. What secrets does he hold? What was his past like? And how old is he? If you sought to live, you had naught but run and hide yourself away. But then, tell me, child of man, what does it mean to live in truth? Once upon a time, there was a brave soldier, or perhaps he was a commander, a trained and disciplined warrior. He jumped at the opportunity to serve, and never was there an enemy he wouldn't fearlessly face head on. Between stints of service, he would hunt, and he would build, and he would intervene on behalf of the less fortunate. He may have appeared to be almost a saint. This man did all these things believing they were the right things to do, and in turn he resented those who would not step up beside him. He looked down on weakness, cowardice, and reluctance. He despised the undisciplined. These things were poison in his eyes. The end with arms outstretched, while others come to face death incarnate, arms in hand. I ask again, what is your purpose here arisen? One day, his land was beset by a great red dragon. His countrymen scattered while he took up his sword and charged in. As his fellow soldiers died around him, he briefly contemplated leaving the cowardly masses to their fates, to run in fear himself. But in the end, he still did what was right, what he was always resigned to do. And so his fate was sealed. Though I called you here to me, it was ever your own feet, your own will that brought you. The soldier, a man whose given name was long lost in history, faced his dragon. He refused to back down, never considering taking the offered bargain, and in the end he faced the Seneschal. The soldier failed his test of character. His resignation to always move forward was not enough. Thus was born the great dragon known as Grigori. A false hope fallen short. It is not canon or in any way stated beyond telling us he was once arisen. He is a dragon who carries on his quirk of favoring the bold and strong. This is evidence in his first spoken lines in the game. <sighs> Very interesting is that word, nomen. While it means name in Latin, it specifically refers to family name. This great and mighty being has lost a major part of his identity. He is, like a soldier, called by his family name. This is something that has a great deal of meaning for his role as a dragon. Great dragons are essentially instruments of the Seneschal, living puppets played on divine strings with no more will or identity than what they are permitted. He is a soldier obeying commands, no matter how he feels about them. He needs no other name. The next we hear of him is he daring us to take up arms, claiming we won't be worth his time otherwise. And then nothing until nearly the end of the game. The main instigator of the plot just disappears. He attacks no one else, just flies away to roost peacefully until we finally seek him out. And yet there is a storied history between his time as a man and when we meet him as a dragon. Although there is no way to tell for sure just how long Grigori has been a dragon, it is certain he has been around longer than a thousand years. His earliest known Arisen, a man known only as the Dragonforged, has been guiding new Arisen since his heart was taken a millennium ago. Since then we know of only a few other Arisen, 
Between 150 and 950 years ago, he made Sophia an arisen. 50 years previous, it was Duke Edmund, then finally there is us. The rantings of an upjump zealot make for tedious listening. His ilk serves no role in what is to come. It is known Gregoria was responsible for the formation of the Cult of Salvation. An attack that destroyed the kingdom left a survivor in its prince. Due to losing one eye to infection, he became known as the One-Eyed Prince, and his writings became the basis for Salvation's teachings. We also know 150 years before the game, Gregory appeared in the area to the west of the Great Wall. The land was destroyed, and to this day remains an inhospitable wasteland. It's even known that sometime in the last 10 to 30 years, he made an appearance on the mainland in the city of Aldring. Bryce, a merchant in Grand Soren, was witness to the appearance. According to him, the events sent everyone into a panic. Fear ruled the day. Yet apparently the dragon didn't so much as raise a claw to attack. He simply watched events unfold. Fitting for one called Grigori, same as the name of the choice of angels known as Watchers. And watching seems to have become a habit. One failed arisen after another has left him resigned to his endless task. His rampages come at his awakening, but on finding an arisen he leaves to await them. And in doing so, repeatedly, he has learned a touch of humility. His destruction is wrought not of his choosing, but at the behest of the Seneschal. He still looks down on men, but has grown to pity them and at times he even marvels at their capabilities despite believing them ultimately futile. I remember now, this sensation for pain, I know it well. This battle is mine, just as it is yours. It is one I began long ago. Then, a humble arisen from Casardis awakened his dormant memories, sensations lost either to time or divine intervention. At the end, he remembers, he goaded them, but now welcomed them as his equal as they pursued him, the same way he pursued his own dragon hundreds or thousands of years ago. He knew from the start their heart would stand against him, that their goals were not so lofty and selfish. Again, the one known as Grigori faced his end with resignation, doing as he must because none other could. Yet this time there was no condescension, no judgment, no anger. He was bested, and he faced it with a dignity and wisdom that he lacked ages before. Finally, one had lived up to his expectations. There, in the midst of a long dead volcano's caldera, his vigil came to an end, and Grigori found peace.